Hey y'all, my name is Sarah and welcome to my channel. Hi everyone. So I've been pretty busy and in a weird place with art lately. I haven't really done anything that I've wanted to post for public consumption because I think as an artist sometimes we just kind of need to take a step back and just make art for ourselves and to practice and not feel pressured to show it to people and all those kinds of things I won't go into right now. So instead I decided to give you a tour of my most unique palettes. I do have several palettes that are more sort of standard like this kind of style. And I do have the coveted Schmika Rainbow Palette, which I traded for with someone from Finland, I want to say. Sweden? Finland? Um, and I'm very, I love this. I've got, unfortunately, I have my Prima paints in it, which I'm not super happy about. I'll get around to moving them at some point. But for now, um, anyway, I do have several like that, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you unique palettes or ways to store paint that you might not know about. So I'm going to start with my Imgram box. This sticker is from Lee Alexen, who I love. It's very dirty. Um, and this is actually the box that a set of 36 colored pencils came in. It had just like a sticker label on the top and I removed it and now I have a set of full pans of Imgram paint in here and one little spare. So these are the colors in the palette. I'm pretty sure I've shown these swatched at some point. I don't use these as much as I used to. I find that they flocculate, uh, which I don't particularly enjoy. Um, so I've been exploring other brands a little bit more. Um, but I still love the arrangement. If you like full pans, this is a great setup. I just use an external, like a, for mixing, I'll use one of my stone palettes or, you know, a ceramic palette or something. I don't mix in the lid um, because it's silver and it's messy. And I just basically, when I use it, I don't have a lot of desk space either. So I put the lid underneath like this and it takes up the minimal amount of space required for these number of pans, which I really like. And they're all magnetized, so I can just pop them out if I want to just pull out a couple for a project or something. So it is really handy, and uh, I do recommend the arrangement if, if that's something you're interested in. You can find tins like this on Amazon. This particular set was the 36 Koinor. It was like the Tri-Blend. Tri-Blend, maybe? Um, but, you know, I think, like, the 36 set of, like, Prismacolors might come in a tin this shape. Um, don't t don't quote me on that, but um, you can find color pencil cases like this, and the height is just perfect. I mean, it it fits perfectly. So I super recommend this um, type of box if it's something that you need for full pans. And these are not in any particular order. I'm just grabbing them off of my desk. Um, you all have seen this because I showed it when I got it from Case for Making. I'll just show you briefly what's in there. This is a palette I put together based on both Felix Scheinberger and Le Pen, Le Pen Urban Sketchers. Um, it's a slightly unique palette, but it does work pretty well. I like the forest green and the green gold combo for greens. Um, you have all the colors that you would need to be able to mix. So I'll hold this up closer so you can see my tiny handwriting, hopefully. So I don't have a video about this particular arrangement of colors, um, but it, it's working really well. I love the tiny palette and, um, and it's just thin, small. It fits in my pencil case. I really like it. Um, so the next one is this one. This palette is from Whiskey Painters. I know Schminka put one out like this a few years ago. Um, they don't sell it anymore. And also My Mary Blue has one that in silver um, that is for sale that comes with paint on Jackson's website. 
and you can also find them in colors on AliExpress, but they're very expensive. So, um, and they take forever to ship and you're not, you're never sure about the quality, like if it's going to get banged up in shipping. So AliExpress for something that expensive is probably not my choice of purchase location, but you know, it's up to you. So this was originally a 16 half pan palette, but it will hold um, 24. And these colors are all of my case for making paints with just some extras here. And uh, then a glass of yellow is extra. Um, so I've been over these colors in detail in other videos, so I won't go through them, but this palette is really unique and interesting and I like to use it as the background color for like colored pencil. I like to use this palette to force me to get out of my comfort zone and it really does that because it doesn't have necessarily standard colors in it. Um, this moss color is absolutely my favorite color in the whole palette. It unfortunately has neon yellow in it, so it's not light fast, but um, I use it anyway. I'm really enjoying that palette. This is my Schminka palette. So I have a 40, 48 set of Schminka that my father got me for Christmas a couple years ago, and I love Schminka paint, but I found that I wasn't using the 48 set because it's just too many choices. Um, ironic, you buy the big set and then it's too many choices. So what I've done is take the colors that I tend to use the most and put them into this palette. I'm just going to turn it sideways so you can see. Um, so these are all Schminka paints and this is a Schminka palette and I will show you the colors. I think if I needed to make sure that I had every color I could possibly use, this is the palette that I would grab. So that's that one. And this is a limited edition 10, but they are coming out with these to be bought standalone. I'm just not sure where we'll be able to get them. Art, art, .es, just Spanish website. Um, they tend to have some of this stuff where we can't get them in the U.S. Jackson's occasionally, but um, Art Miranda is uh, usually the, the most confident option. Speaking of Art Miranda, this is a palette I got from them recently. This is, um, I think it's stainless steel. It's very heavy. I have not put anything in it because it's so heavy. Full pans will fit into these slots. Um, I got this because I kind of wanted a brass palette, but I, I mean, it could be brass. I don't know. Um, but they're very inexpensive and Royal Talon makes this palette. They're very in inexpensive on Art Miranda, but it took probably two months to get here. Um, there was some sort of issue with the shipping on the American side. It was fine from Spain. So um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. It could be good for gouache. This tray does come out. Um, so I could just take the tray out and stick pans in there. I don't know. I don't currently have a plan for what to do with this. It is, I mean, it's not the best made situation. I mean, you can see it's sort of, yeah, like the pans aren't even and but they, they note that on the website where you buy them, um, they make a note that they're not, you know, super well constructed. They're made by hand and they're made very quickly. And, um, I mean, I knew that going into it and like the corners are open and kind of pointy. So, I don't know. It is exactly what I purchased. I mean, it is the thing that I ordered. Do I like it? Eh, not so much. It's very heavy and it doesn't have a lot of space in it. So as of right now, this is just sitting, not being used, but we'll see if I decide to do something with it. The paint job isn't fabulous either. I mean, it's got like dust and stuff in it. Yeah. I, I knew it wasn't going to be good quality and I bought it anyway. <laughs> um, so the next item I'll show is this one. I recently bought an art toolkit palette. Um, these are super nice, super thin little travel palettes. I bought this because 
this yellow palette, as small as it is, only holds 12 colors and it still takes up quite a bit of space in my pencil case. Um, I just wanted a sort of slim line option that could hold more colors. So it came with the, these are the equivalent of half pans, the, the pans that are this size. So it came with, I think 18, no, 14 of those. I purchased an extra set of the smaller quarter pans, but I actually just like, these are my greens. I actually just put two greens in the bigger pan because I don't care if they mix. This is two purples. I put them in the same pan. It doesn't bother me. I'm not picky about it. So here's my color swatch card. I put, um, I sort of self laminated it with, um, packing tape. And then that's the list of colors is written out on the back just in case I need it because it is a very wide variety of brands of paint. And sometimes I need to know, um, exactly what the color is so I can refill it. So there's my color swatches. Um, it is a really good assortment. I have been kind of getting into putting lavender in my palettes. I think this is Daniel Smith's lavender. Um, I've been interested in including some sort of funky opaque colors in my paintings lately. So um, I've got that one and then the cobalt teal light is opaque. Um, I've got cobalt blue, no, nope, cerulean blue chromium that's slightly opaque. So I've just been playing around with different variety in my um, paints because I had been sticking to pretty transparent colors before and I just wanna try something new. Also, I've got a tiny pan of white gouache in here. This is um, M. Graham white gouache, which I find rewets much better than most other brands. So this is a super all-rounder, can do anything travel palette. And I'm still kind of waiting for the paint to dry. I overfilled a few pans and couldn't close it. And then when I did close it, they sort of undried. It's the only way I can explain it. So this has been sitting out for several days now drying in the hopes that I will eventually be able to actually close it and take it with me. The issue is that I've got some core and Sennelier paints in here and they just take forever to dry. So it's just sitting waiting to be used at the moment. This is a ceramic palette from Sugar House Ceramics, which is a ceramics company in Canada. Um, I have not used it, as you can see. These are pretty expensive. And I'm in one of those situations where I spent a lot of money on something that I'm certain is going to be ruined after I use it. And not ruined, but it won't be as pretty as it is now. I know I need to use it. I know I need to use it. I will use it. I will use it. But at the moment, I'm just enjoying how beautiful it is. So it will be used, I promise. I'm not that kind of person that doesn't use pretty things. And the last palette I want to show is this one. This is one of my most prized possessions in this world. My partner made this for me out of wood. She made it by hand. I keep a rubber band on it, but it doesn't actually need the rubber band. It has magnets. It has magnets on the corners that keep it closed. These paint wells are enameled. So those are mixing spaces. And then these little cups are tattoo ink cups. So you can swap out your colors. If you can buy these like super cheap on Amazon. Um, I wanna say it's like six bucks for a hundred. It's, it's really inexpensive. Um, so you can, if you decide that you don't like Nicolazzo yellow, you can swap it out for something else or Queen Gold. And I have written on the rim of each cup what the color is. This is Queen Gold actually. Um, and I've just got a sort of standard split primary palette in here with some secondary colors. I love it. I want to use it more. It's beautiful. She did an amazing job. Um, but it's something that I, I take in a very specific situation where I'm carrying a bag of only art stuff as opposed to my pencil case, which I carry, let's say, to the office with me. I'll carry it in my purse. It's not super heavy. It has, you know, the art toolkit palette in it. So I hope this has been enjoyable. If you have a special palette that you um, consider unique and interesting, I would love to hear about it. Leave me a comment down below. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to get more content. I try to post every Tuesday. As I said, I've been having a little bit of a private art situation, like just not wanting to share things. So 
Um, I don't think that I'll go on hiatus, but you never know. It might be a little quiet here for a couple weeks. Don't worry, I'll be back, and uh, I hope to see everybody soon. Bye.